Okay, you guys, this is part two of Until Death Do Us Part. Okay, um, this is, you know, the author talking. Uh, not you officially dead to her, baby. Damn. Bitch, you look like her. Okay, so you guys, you know I hate these characters, so. Or whatever the hell, how the hell ever. Okay. Um, you're joking. Tell me you're joking. It's true, Valentina. It's, it is essential that you marry Alexander. I don't know. I don't want to marry him. Right. <laughs> Shit. I don't care what you want. It's happening. I don't know. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Do not raise your voice to me, Valentina. I've never punished you before, but I will now. Follow me. Oh, girl. Girl, I'm grown to sell. Get in. Uh, skip town on your motherfucking ass. Papa, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't love him. I don't even know him. And the rumors of how he tortures men, it, it terrifies me. <laughs> Papa... <laughs> His nickname is Alexander the Butcher Calhoun. No, he could say Calhoun, Calhoun. I I could never love a man like him. Oh damn. Your opinion is invalid in this matter, Valentina. My opinion is invalid. This is my life. You're throwing away, Valentina. Enough. Right, bitch. How the fuck you gonna tell me my opinion don't matter? Do you and you trying to marry my ass off somewhere, girl? Bob, why don't you marry that grown bitch off? The one that told us my ass is too childish. Yeah, marry her ass off. Do you understand how important this wedding is? <laughs> no, I do not fucking understand. I don't give a shit. But the brat, I don't brat, bratva, are closing in on both of our families. If we don't join forces and work together to stop the Russian mob, um, we'll all be dead by the end of this year. No, you'll be dead, girl, because I'm leaving. Okay? We need you and Alexander to unify in marriage. Only then will our families be rightfully joined. Why me and Alexander, though? Why can't you know... Why can't y'all just, you know, be allies and join together? Why do I gotta literally get married? <laughs> do you understand? I, be calm, say. Oh, no, okay. I'd be like, yeah, I understand. I understand y'all got me fucked up, girl. Why are you being so problematic, Valentina? Gee, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because you're for forcing me to be Alex's new whore? Watch your mouth, Valentina. Or what? You're going to ruin my life? Well, you already are. <laughs> How the hell would a wedding unify both of our houses, huh? A wedding would bond our families together by blood. With a wedding, there will be no backing out of our alliance. Oh, yeah, true. Huh? Well, no, no, not necessarily. Because there's people out here that fuck over their mates. So, why can't Rosalind marry Alex? <laughs> They're the same age, right? Alexander personally requested you. Ain't he fucking nothing? Of course he fucking did. Of course he did. But why? Why did he pick me over Rosalind? She's more she's far more beautiful than me. Papa, please don't make me do this. I I can't do this. I'm scared. I heard rumors, nasty rumors of how Alex treats his conquests. <clears throat> How he likes to fuck hard and ruthlessly. What? What type of shit is this? <laughs> How possessive and, uh, and dominating he was over his women. I knew that my life would be over the second I said I do. You're going to marry Alexander Valentina? You will also stay here for a week to get to know your fiance. This is final. Oh, no, the fuck it's not, girl. It's not final. It's not final. How you gonna sell my ass to the highest bidder? To save your own asshole? No, girl. No, girl. 
Y'all, I'm trying to cook and do this shit at the same time. I can't believe this happened to me. At 17. At goddamn 17, I was already engaged. My ass ain't even legal. I can't even get married on my own, girl. I gotta ask your permission to get, get the fuck out of here. <sighs> engaged to a ruthless killer. A ruthless killer who enjoyed his skill. His kills. I had dreams. I had desires. I wanted to fall in love. But I could clearly see my future falling apart in front of me. Well, falling apart in a million pieces. Okay. Valentina, why are you crying? Rosa. Oh, cry, cry. I, I am to marry Alex Callahan in eight months. He's going to break me, Rosa. He's going to break my body, my soul, and my life. I'm afraid of what will happen when he takes me to bed. <laughs> I'm afraid of what he'll do if I, if I do something that displeases him. The stories I've heard about him. I can't do this. You can see it. I'm off it. Stop being selfish, Valentina. See, bitch, you marry his ass. Excuse me? You should be proud to be honoring our family this way. This marriage will save us all, but all you can think about is yourself. Stop being selfish and do your duty as a mafia woman. Kick, kick her ass. Do my duties as a, maf as a mafia woman? What about you? What are you getting at, Valentina? You're lecturing me about doing my duties when you're incapable of doing yours. Why is this Alex? Why is it that Alex picked me to marry him over you? You guys are the same age, right? It must have been so embarrassing for Mama and Papa that the the next heir to the Irish mob refused to marry their oldest daughter. Nobody wants you, Rosalind. <laughs> Damn, that is irrelevant, <laughs> Valentina. Is it? Do you tell me why all your past boyfriends have cheated on you? Oh damn, low blow. I know, but I was getting damn tired of her uptight attitude. Speechless now. Don't you dare lecture me about doing my duty when you're incapable of keeping a man satisfied. You know, right now I really needed an older sister to hold me and tell me everything will be all right. All right. Oh, that's sad, girl. I got into a guest bedroom conveniently and had my suitcase inside. Mm hmm. Suitcase I never packed. Coincidence. I need to change out of these fancy clothes. Um, let's see what trendy is, girl. I love this outfit. Are you happy with this outfit? Let's say no, because I want to try all of them on. I like this. No. Casual. I'm gonna be a bit casual. Um, let's go with the trendy, y'all. She said she loved it. This is the Excuse that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm marrying Alex. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't marry him. I cannot. I'm sorry y'all had to see that. But apparently, that was important to say all on my line while I was recording. And he knows I'm recording, so I don't understand why he's sending me messages. <sighs> An idea started to formulate in my head. A dangerous idea. An idea that could get me killed. I could run. If I run, I'd be free. But my family. If I ran, I would never be able to see my family again. My heart ached at the thought of never seeing Layla, Raphael, Mama, and Papa. And Rosalind. Yeah, I hated her at the moment, but she's still my sister. Um, But I couldn't. No, I wouldn't let Alex dominate me. Um, I was going down without, I wasn't going down without a fight. If Alex thinks he's going to get me this easily, he's in for a surprise. Tonight, I run. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all like this shit. I don't know why. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Maybe I just can't get into it because of the character. I hate these fucking characters. I'm not getting into this story. But you guys kept asking for episode two. So here you guys go. I hope like hell that you enjoyed it. And um, I love all of you guys. I love you all. Uh, especially all my commenters. I love you. You guys have me dying laughing. Like legit dying. But there you go. It, it, it was a 10 minute episode. And I think I'm going to record probably like two or three more tonight. Not of this. Hell no. Not of this girl. Oh God. No, I can't. I think I'm just going to finish the teacher off and then I'm going to start doing other episodes. I think I'm just going to do them all one at a time so that I can get the whole series out. I'm pretty sure that'll be faster than just doing one and one here, one there, one there. So I might do three of uh, the teacher tonight. Because it's only like 12 episodes, I believe. Uh, let me look at my list. Yeah, it's only 12 episodes. And I already did three. So, I'm do another three. That'll be six. I'll be halfway done. Alrighty, I love you guys. You enjoy.